Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and we are here with another tutorial on Splunk. We have already seen how to set up Splunk, collect logs, set up deployment server, configure inputs and outputs file in my previous tutorials. If you have not checked those videos kindly do so. Also subscribe to my channel for more videos. Today we are going to see more about Splunk searches. How to do basic searches in Splunk and what are the common components in Splunk search app. Follow along. The first step is load your Splunk portal using your IP address of Splunk server or alias name, log into your Splunk. From Splunk home, click search and reporting in the apps panel as you see on the screen, and which will take you to the search summary view in search app. We will see these in real demo before that let me also give details of search summary view. The components you see on the search summary view are the applications menu, the Splunk bar, the apps bar, the search bar, the time range picker and you will be also able to see the elements below the search bar, which are the how to search panel, the what to search panel, and the search history panel. The Applications menu helps you to switch between Splunk applications that you have installed. The current application, Search and Reporting app, is listed along with other apps. The Splunk bar let you edit your Splunk configuration, view system level messages, and get help on using the product. The Apps bar helps you to navigate between the different views in the application you are in. For the Search and Reporting app the views are, Search, Metrics, Datasets, Reports, Alerts, and Dashboards. You can specify your search criteria in the search bar, specify the time period for the search, such as the last 30 minutes or yesterday. The default is last 24 hours and click on search. Great! Let's see the demo of what we have discussed. Follow along. How to search panel route you to the Splunk documentation page and gives you detailed search manual. The what to search panel shows you the summary of the data that is uploaded onto this Splunk instance. This provides the details on hosts, sources, and source types which is good information to start your searches in Splunk. The search history provides a view a list of the searches that you have run. Other than that we have explained in in the search summary view, you also have options to set event sampling, and you can also change the search mode to fast mode, smart mode, or verbose mode. Let's see about those also.
Let's do some real search. You can start with any word in the search bar and Splunk will automatically give you the suggestions if the word is available, and you can click on search. For example I have started with search CentOS 2. You can also do the search specifying the source, source type, hosts, index etc. So that Splunk don't have to search in whole indexed content, it can specifically search in respective place and this will improve your search speed. You can just another word or content that need to be added to the search parameter, for example here I would like to have only the content with accepted password for root. If you add another word or parameter to search, by default it is considered as ant boolean, so Splunk will look for outputs with all the search parameter applied. So if you add ant boolean in between the words, it works as same. Now let's try out both ant, and or, boolean in the search. Follow along and try to do your own searches with different scenarios.
I hope this video provides you the basics on Splunk searches, use the time range picker and or boolean parameters, wildcard searches. We will see more about creating visualization and statistics in searches in the upcoming tutorials. Thank you for watching, kindly subscribe to my channel, and like the video.